Well, here's Ilza, my girlfriend, and also part of an organization that preserves the wildlife of marine turtles in Thailand. As a matter of fact, here she's walking the beaches of Koh Pratong, a small island on the west coast of Thailand. The organization is called Nocrates, which is overseen by Monica and Claudio. This is not a video about accurate information on the problems that the project has faced during several years. No, no. This is a story about a guy who actively participated on a project that Nocrates developed over the years. The story actually begins in 2004. Marginal right. Okay, good. Where did 7 come from? Where did 7 come from? Where did 7 come from? 4.6 the length. Yes, 21. 3.8 the width. 21 the weight. Can I have another one out? Under there, another <laughs> You sleep, eh? <laughs> Just thinking. <laughs> so, you know, why I'm doing this? This is number 15? No, no, it's still the one that I've just been 14. This is actual footage of the project, how it looked before the tsunami. Ilz was over there for about uh, one month and in that season uh, there still were a lot of turtles. Uh, we even had them in uh, blue tanks, water tanks to be exact. If I recall correctly those tanks were uh, for helping the small turtles uh, to get a head start in life so that when we put them out to sea that they wouldn't be attacked or uh, they, they would be a bit stronger than in uh, the beginning period. <laughs> we even teach the small children at local fishermen schools what uh, the repercussions were for fishing too much at sea. So uh, therefore we started with uh, together with the local villagers and fishermen and their children to teach them about fishing and uh, sea turtles so that in future generations the sea turtles were still here. About uh, 25 years ago this beach uh, produced about 240 till 260 nests of sea turtles uh, each year. Now, this year, uh, I mean 2006, we only had one nest. So this is uh, how quick it goes when humans interfere in nature. So. Yeah. Oh wow, what a pause. But before that we can't really... Uh, just estimate. Nothing. Go <laughs> <laughs> <Donut>. Where? <laughs> <laughs> Smile to the camera now. Smile. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's waving. Yeah. My hand. Oh, 
Yeah. yeah. This is a long neck. This is pretty fine. <laughs> long neck. <laughs> long neck. Did you hear that? Long neck, huh? Like a giraffe, we're going to call him a giraffe. Huh? When? On the project, it was uh, important to count uh, the entire nest and after that weigh them and measure them and count the, uh, the number of scales on their backs. So that uh, maybe in future we would, uh, when they return to uh, the beach to lay eggs, uh, we could maybe discover uh, who they were or when they were born, so. It was always fun to uh, go out into uh, nature in the mangroves uh, by canoe and discover the wildlife over there. And, uh, particularly uh, at Copratong, it was uh, very serene, very calm. And everybody loved it. Uh, there was so much nature. Uh, in in uh, probably uh, in two kilometers, there was a beach. Uh, there was mangrove. There was a forest. There was a desert, uh, and of course uh, sea life. So it was a very uh, ecological uh, mix-up of uh, nature, and it, it was just beautiful. switch off and so oh. <laughs> it's just beginning to be normal I expect you to do it every minute of the day for the rest of the <laughs> Even bij je gezicht houden, ja.
some good daughters video and so now I look really busy don't I? Yep, look at them two drinking tea and providing helpful advice. We get <coughs> get into the hard running, work. So. You can make the trees. Problem is the um. <laughs> and it wasn't big enough because this island looked bigger than it, so that kind of defeats the object of it being a big like island. Car, yeah. Hey. Yes, it was. Claudio was always uh, fond of the mangrove, and uh, in that time he explained to the volunteers how it worked. And in the future, wants to uh, make a conservational project on the mangroves, uh, specifically on Copraton, and to see how uh, the development uh, was uh, before and after the tsunami, and how quick it would. Return to the its its normal state and uh, and growth. as quickly as possible. Almost it, I Oh yeah, I think I got him now. When the hatchlings uh, were uh, taken care of in the beginning state of uh, growth, then uh, we would take them to the beach and uh, set them out. So they would know that in the beginning, uh, when they come from land, that they know what beach to go to, uh, so that uh, they would actually return to this beach to lay their eggs. I, I, I see behind the camera and I avoid pictures. Yeah. <laughs> Stop filming. <laughs> 
And finally, when everybody was uh, ready with this project, uh, we would send them out to sea, the hatchlings, and hope that they would return. So afterwards, we of course had to celebrate that uh, we discovered a few new nests, and they would return, hopefully, in a few, uh, in about 20 years, uh, return to this place to lay their eggs again. On the next episode.